Oh, so let me try this. And I could go live to my group too. So this will be live both in my on my page and my group. It says awesome. settings for meeting. Okay, let's let's see. I'm going to keep checking you. Oh, so I, I totally did find. not know that Zoom had this capability. See that? You know what it is says funny? It's it's like, streaming, but I don't see it. Okay, Ooh. let's see. Is it in your group, honey? Did you put it in your group or in both my Facebook page? So it says Heather Pierce Campbell's live now. There, I see you. And my business. You. Okay, let me try it again. Page. I mean, I'm on both. I see you. <laughs> That is so strange. Here, I'll pop a link to my, um, let's try this. I'm going to, I'm going to open the chat for anybody that joins, but, um, I'm going to share this for you. So if you go to that, Thank you. Okay, yeah, good. that should hopefully show up live. I think you have to hit the play, but I don't want to hear it twice through my speaker. So I'm not going to, right. Gonna I hear live. you um so you well, couldn't find a brush let's talk about the little things in life that matter to us lawyers finding a oh, brush is important when you have children and they're not they're not listening to you right or they're oh, they're hiding stuff on you is that what's happening oh i went to make a breakfast smoothie and i got blueberries out of the freezer right and then of course they disappeared off the counter and for like 10 minutes i'm losing my marbles like i just had blueberries here and <laughs> then i find my son covered in blueberries he's seven we should not be carrying oh. frozen blueberries next to our couch that is a lighter color um like hoarding blueberries by the couch on the ground watching tv and i'm just like what is happening this is my new life so it's our new um, life. oh my gosh yeah so i haven't had breakfast my hair barely got brushed because i found something else that could brush it and i'm just like how is anybody staying sane i feel i don't know one inch away from losing my sanity pretty much on the daily. But anyways. Well, can I just share something with you? So last week, I don't know if this is before we chatted or after. Um, um, on Wednesday night was the first night of Passover, okay? Uh, and so we decided to have a virtual Seder. And instead of being able, to, well, we started the virtual Seder and all was going pretty well and we put, I had my, my newish laptop on the table, on something, but on the table. And, you know, there's grape juice involved in satyrs. And I said to my son, keep the grape juice away. Bye-bye laptop, sayonara, it's done, it's done. And there's no, but so the, I had this, yeah. So Apple Care does not cover liquid and I have this, warranty but of course nobody's there now they don't answer the phone nobody's right. Open. so right it's crazy and so they, they're telling me i have to go to one of their people and i'm like but none of your people are open so it's just crazy we're dealing with a lot things a lot of stuff a lot, a lot of stuff but you look beautiful so well, congratulations you. kudos and to you for that you too i'm so happy to see you and um i love your fancy background um that's me underwater. Totally. I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. So it's got the whole mermaid effect going on. Um, all That's right. right. Cause I'm so, I'm so mermaid like, you know, as lawyers, we're very, we're very flowy. I do swim every day. I will tell you, that's what I've been doing. Swimming every single day, every day. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, welcome. I'm so happy to Thank have you. you. And I'm so happy to now know that zoom goes live on other platforms. Um, and um, we are here to talk about emergency funding and financial yes. options for small businesses. So I'm so yes, glad to have you here sharing your brilliance with whoever needs to hear this. And um, I know we've got Judy on the line. I know probably a lot of people, like I sent this to my list, um, a lot of people, like we all do, have craziness and necessarily can't join last minute, but I'll be sharing the recording as well and posting it to YouTube, posting it on Facebook. So um, that'll awesome. be awesome for anybody who needs to hear this and they might be hearing it after the fact. But um, how do we Somebody's start? Still Where do... there. Yeah. So far. Yeah, so far. So tell me. So far. I have not yet even dug into this for myself, but. Okay, well, we have to change that immediately. I know. So what, Give what's us the timing? Scoop. Give us the full right. scoop. So there is money. I have called my webinar series, Finding the Silver Lining in COVID-19. 
And it's because everything that I do is about the silver lining. As you know, I have a book, Finding Your Silver Lining in the Business Immigration Process. I have a nonprofit, Find Your Silver Lining, for struggling single parents that are trying to find their purpose and goal in life. And I decided to call this um, Finding Your Silver Lining webinar series because at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, it's super important that we focus on the silver lining. It's not all doom and gloom. And look, Heather is, is home with her kids and, and her husband. I think your husband is working from home, right? Um, he is an essential employee, so he goes in. So ah. He, it is more flexible than normal, meaning he doesn't have to be there full days, but he goes in every day. Got it. Okay. And do you have help at home? No. Okay, so you're in the same boat as me. I have a nine-year-old that's very demanding. Oh yes, and, a two-year-old um, and, and a seven-year-old with special needs. So we've got. Oh we've got our my hands goodness! Full. Yes, we have our hands full, but at the end of the day, we're still here to serve our clients. So what happened was a few weeks ago, as you know, Heather, I think I spoke to you about this. Like when this kind of was all starting, and we started hearing about the original stimulus package and all the stuff that was kind of developing, I said to myself that you know, I, I'm an international global legal expert moving people and services all around the world as we work on some clients together sometimes. Yeah. And I realized that there's going to be pivoting needed in all of their businesses as well as in my business in order to serve them better. So I decided to become an expert on the funding that was out there. I've done SBA loans before, I've done tons of um, funding documents and business plans and venture capital. And so I said, okay, they need me, I'm gonna step up. So I, I became, I guess, a quasi expert. I hate to call myself an expert in funding, but suddenly I'm very popular because I have the means to get to the money. And um, I partnered up with my, um, my bookkeeping slash accounting slash tax partner who's been doing my books for a couple of years. She's in San Diego. We make an amazing team. We call ourselves the dream team. And, um, and we started putting together packages and webinars to help entrepreneurs and business owners and realtors. I'm also a realtor, as I think you know, people yeah. that didn't really know where to get this money. A lot of lawyers, for example, I do, like I'm an immigration lawyer, so a lot of immigration lawyers needed help. So I decided to develop these webinars and focus on helping people access the money. And there's lots of government money, but on top of the government money, there's also a lot of private money. So today we are finalizing a resource, a resource guide that I have developed that will be available together with a funding uh, webinar to walk you through the process of filing your documents and then accessing all this whole plethora of other resources that are available both as loans and grants by state by state and it's it's a great resource guide if I do say so myself so I'm excited and we've been able to um, I, I think I've built an audience of you know well over 2,000 people now because yeah. everybody wants to learn about what's available to them so yeah. the first easiest thing to access is this well easiest on its face is the Small Business Administration's loan, which is called the Economic Impact Disaster Loan, the EIDL. The EIDL is a loan of up to $10 million per entity, per business. And they're granting within that loan application up to $10,000 per business. Now, originally we thought that that was $10,000 per business across the board. And originally that was the interpretation, but of course the government changed that and now it's $1,000 per employee within your business up to $10,000, but that's a grant. Okay. Now this application is super easy and I will post it in the chat, um, yep. but the challenge the is, yeah. the challenge is that the application is just the tip of the iceberg. The hard part is going to come when they get, when they provide, give you provisional, you know, conditional approval for the loan. And they say, okay, now you have to provide this plethora of documents and supporting information so that you can actually get the loan. And on top of that, you have to show how you allocate all of the money in the loan in order to A, not pay back the grant and B, potentially have some level of loan forgiveness. So the allocation is super, super important. I'm going to put this in here. Okay. So there, there's so many like dimensions of, of this and how, um, 
how it plays out and, and how small businesses have to respond because ev people tend to think, oh, this is easy, I can do this myself. And you're right, the application is not that difficult, although there are some glitches in there. And if you mess up, you're in trouble. So it's, it's just much better to kind of do it with some guidance. I, as you know, I've been hosting these group funding sessions and um, they're a great way to get access to a group of people that are filing with you and get guidance. And I also have that available in a reporting. So there's a lot of resources that are available to help you without breaking the bank for you. So on that allocation part, can I ask a question? Is yes, that, do you, do you allocate in advance, like how you plan to use the money or it's tracking and allocating once you've Correct. used it to where it went? That's okay. right, the latter. Okay. So it's yep. super important that you work with a team. Like I, like I said, I have a strategic partner, bookkeeping, accounting, and tax company yep. that they, if you don't have a strong bookkeeping relationship or, or accounting relationship, we need to get that together for you because if you don't allocate these funds properly and appropriately, you're going to have to pay them back and you could even have to pay a penalty. That will also go for the second type of loan, let's say the paycheck protection program, which yeah. is available to small businesses um, all over the country, up to 500 employees and also available, well, actually it's available to all the businesses. And it's also available supposedly as of last Friday, but most financial institutions aren't ready, but it's supposed to be available for 1099s as well. So the okay. biggest challenge in that is that there's very, there's not a lot of financial institutions that are still, <laughs> that are still taking applications. And if you can't find one, you're done. Like if you're with a big bank, pretty much forget about it. If you have a small bank relationship, you've got a chance. One of the beautiful parts of working with me is that I have those small bank relationships because I'm doing this day in and day out. So I have credit partners, I have financial partners, you know, we, like, like you and I, I have uh, legal partners. And yeah. that, that means that you've got the gamut covered by a team of people that can get what you need done. So if you need access to a good lender, a good financial institution to, to, um, to submit your paycheck protection program, we can get you to that. Got it. So, so lenders, I assume, have had to scramble to line up to participate oh in this God. or facilitate it. But you're saying that they're overwhelmed. They're not many of them not any longer taking the applications. And is that just because they're overwhelmed processing them? Is it the process yes. like they just don't have people to do the intake? They, they don't. My yeah. my banker, who's a personal friend of mine, she's been working 15 hour days since this started, and. She said yesterday, I can't even answer your emails. And it's a personal friend. She goes, I, I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. She says, I'm just done. Yeah. So like you and I are sometimes like that, certainly. But um, the, the, so if you, if you have a bank that is a larger, even the smaller banks, I mean, one of my small bank relationships said, look, they, I, I was having trouble filing my application, my Paycheck Protection Program application with PNC. Okay, because there was a little glitch and I couldn't overcome the glitch. So to make a really long story short, um, to make a really long story short, I was going to go to one of my strategic partners and she said, you got to wait a week. I'm overwhelmed. I can't even take more applications even from you. Got it. Like she's just, you know, they, they're just That's done. Right. Yeah. So the the pay the paycheck protection program is that that's available to everybody. That's available to a solo entrepreneur, right? It is now, yes. Okay. Depending on if the financial institution is ready. Now you may have to wait because there's nothing, you know, we we can't control it exactly. Yeah. They might be just having to process these things over time. Correct. Yeah. And and well there's, but there's two pieces. The first one was the regular small business, like the uh, LLC and the C Corp mm -hmm. and the S Corp. Most financial institutions that we're participating have that ready, but a lot of them don't have the 1099 system okay. ready yet. So yep. that could be a little longer and you just have to be patient or try to find another institution that's taking it because at the end of the day, there's, um, there's, you can't, you, there's no strings you can pull unless you have a relationship. Um, unless you have a relationship. And, um, and another thing to remember is if you happen to, in your networking circles, have a connection or contact that's like a credit union or a community bank, mm -hmm. and most of us do, right? <laughs> Reach out to them. Okay. Now, 
Yep. What does the Paycheck Protection Program cover? Okay, so I'll explain to you. Um, the Paycheck Protection Program covers payroll, and for 1099, it's going to cover um, your average monthly revenue from last year. Okay, the way that it works is it's determined, they determine the amount of the Paycheck Protection Program loan based on 2.5 times that monthly average payroll from last year. And they then grant that money to you or loan that money to you. And there's loan forgiveness for up to eight weeks of payroll provided that you use it to cover payroll and related stuff. Now, for a regular business like an LLC or a C Corp or S Corp, it's based on actual W-2 payroll that the allocation amount that, but you can use it to pay 1099s and you can use it to cover insurance and health insurance and rent and mortgage and so on. So this is why the allocation is super important. Yes, for CNS, that's right. Sorry, I didn't realize you were typing that. Yes. No, that's so, all right. I just am putting notes down so that people can digest this because it's a lot to, you know, sort It's a of, lot. Yeah. It's a lot. And I do these webinars like almost daily. And thank you, Heather, for engaging this. But there, there's there's a whole lot more to it. And I usually present slides and it's it's complicated. You know, it's like, le it's legal stuff, right? Legal stuff yeah. is pretty much always relatively complicated, yeah. right? <laughs> I know we try, we try to make it simple. We try not to have it be complicated, but there is just some of that built into the system. So yeah. if we were to focus on talking about the, the bulk of folks that I serve, right? Which are mostly solo entrepreneurs. Some of them are gonna be, some of them will have small teams. Some might have an employee or two, but that's generally the size of yep. you know, entrepreneurs and small businesses that I support. What, what should they be doing right now? So you mentioned reaching out to, uh, if they've got a credit union or a bank that they have a relationship, reaching out right, right. now. To exactly, 100%, yes, okay. definitely. That's a very good starting point. If you have not filed or submitted your SBA loan application and um, economic, disaster, economic injury grant um, application, which are combined together in one, you need to do that. If you, oh, have you apply trouble, for both at the same time? They do. One is built into the other. So the, the, the grant is built into the economic injury disaster loan. So within the economic injury disaster oh, loan oh, application, oh. there's a checkbox that says, do you want to qualify for the, for the, it's called an advance. It's not even called a grant. They kind of try to slip you up. There. Got it. So, so the, paycheck, per, per, the paycheck protection program is part of the. No, that's no, separate. Okay. So you've got the, so one is, so we've got idle economic injury disaster loan within idle is the economic injury grant, which they're calling an advance in the application. That's the application link that I put up here, the SBA. Yep. SBA.gov. What did you say? Yes. You said auto. What am I missing? I'm not hearing something. Advance. So oh, it, within within the application, there's a checkbox that said, do you want to qualify? I can't remember the exact wording, but for the advance, it's, mm, that's the grant. It's called uh, an advance. Okay. A lot of people are not checking that. So you won't get it because they don't realize that it's a grant. And that's Again, in the another EID application, the economic yes. injury disaster. Okay. Correct. The Paycheck Protection Program is two programs in and of itself that's separate from the economic injury disaster loan. However, you can't double dip. So in other words- That's what I want, that would be my next question. Yes. Is it one or the other? It's, it's sort of one or the other. You can apply for both, but you can't use them to pay for the same stuff. Okay. So if you, so your, your loan, your SBA loan, your economic injury disaster loan, and especially the grant, if you use the grant to cover any part of payroll, then the Paycheck Protection Program payroll allocation, remember it's only $1,000 for yeah. per employee. So that's going to be used up quick, but you would discount the PPP allocation by the amount of the grant. That's how it would work. Got it. And so if Otherwise, you, were, yeah, if you were instead using the economic impact disaster loan for things like, um, paying rent or covering other business costs and you weren't allocating that towards payroll or towards right. or paying yourself as a sole proprietor or a, a solo entrepreneur, then right. they would both apply. Right. 
Okay. And you can apply for both. And the truth is that you should, especially if you qualify. And mostly everybody at this point should potentially qualify. And it's, again, it's the, the, the very important thing to remember in all of this, and I just can't stress this enough, is that this is the easy part. The application, everybody's like, oh, why do we really need your help? It's like anything, Heather, right? You know, well, I don't need your help until there's a problem. Well, I don't need your help until you have to start allocating until they say, you know, I've done a lot of SBA loans and they're usually called section 7A loans and the, the plethora of documents that you need to provide is extensive. You may need a shareholders agreement. Well, you probably don't have one of those. You may need your corporate record books. Well, let's get those updated, right? So there's a lot of back office stuff that's gonna be needed besides your tax returns, which they can access and a lot of other financial statements and financial information that you may have because most people haven't filed their 2019 return, no. although I did. I had I had filed an extension, so I haven't yet filed. I know, look at you. Um goodness. Well, yes. Yeah, so so tell talk to me a little bit about how like what services you're offering in that regard. Like how do people work with you if they decide this is a fit and they want help on the back end? What does that look like? Well, I have services ranging all the way from $97 right up to 2500 okay? okay? And and beyond. And I say and beyond because the 2500 is going to just get you through the loan pro process. But we're going to have ongoing coaching and masterminding and programs and systems and all kinds of stuff that I'm building through my tribe, which I suddenly have a tribe, which uh, I know you and Jay have been like, Laura needs a tribe. So I have a tribe. Jay was like, I knew you were going to get a tribe. I'm like, okay, I guess I have a tribe now because, you know, when you want to just give and give, you, you kind of build a following, right? Like you have. So, um, so anyway, the $97 would cover uh, a short um, funding and pivoting call with me because one of the things that I think we are definitely going to be collaborating on, which is super important for all of these businesses is what it's like dating Heather. And I, I can't help but compare it to that because I dated for just far too long, you know, and now I have this boyfriend that I barely see, but that's another story. Oh, so, um, but anyway, so in the dating world, right. Um, I, I hope he's not watching this because I'm embarrassed now. So in the <laughs> dating world, you go on this date and you think this date is awesome. And you're like, oh my God, this was great. It was wonderful. And then you're like, what next? What next? My strategic partner who calls herself the cash flow CFO. She sent an email today inviting people to a call. I should invite you. You should come on Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. Okay. okay. And this call is what next? Now you got the money. Now what? And that's the thing because the now what is important. The now what is about not only allocating, but how do you pivot your business so that you actually use that money to the best of its ability so that you pivot for success. You create collaborative relationships, right? Because at the end of the day, these collaborative relationships are what the world is going to be even more built on than it was before, yes. right? Oh, it's all, it's 100% about relationship building right now. It's, it's so much like, you know, Heather was like, how can I support you? I'm like, well, let's go live. And how can I support you? Well, let's get you all your stuff done. You know, we, we lawyers are guilty of one thing that we, we have in common. I know this. We don't put the mask on ourselves first. <laughs> and especially as moms, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're so worried about everybody else. And sometimes we forsake ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so, but the, but again, the important message I think is that there's, there's professionals and leaders like Heather and myself that can help you not only to access the money, but to pivot your business so that you have short and long-term success. Because at the end of the day, the money is only going to be a very short-term band-aid if you don't right. learn how to apply it. That, that date is only as good as that day that you're on that date if you don't learn how to follow through and make it to the next date and the next date because relationships are hard and running businesses is hard. So let's figure out a way to make your business more strategically sound, right? Totally. Well, and that, that is the right conversation. The thing that is hard about right now is watching some of the conversations in the marketplace and seeing some people who are having the conversation about like, how do I just float through this time so that I can go back to doing business, like how I know how to do business. And 
that, you know, when I see that, it's like, oh, yeah. one, I, you know, I don't think there is any going back. Like I, no I going back. right. And even somebody who I think is a totally brilliant person and who lives in the marketing world was saying, if you've got funnels that worked and you have all, like, you just hit pause if you need to hit pause and then we'll turn those back on. And it was like, no. what? No, that is not the conversation to be having B business. Mm -hmm. I'm just really convinced that the whole business landscape is going to look very, very different. The other side of this. Oh, uh, oh my God. Like, and the other thing that I've been saying, which I know you'll agree with is it's not, not just about, um, oh shoot, hold on a moment. I'm supposed to be on a call. Just a moment oh, okay. now. Hold on a second. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, I thought we were gonna, we're never quick um, right. as lawyers. So I told them, I told them 10 minutes. So the, the important thing I think to remember in, in all of this is that um, it's not just about how we pivot our businesses, but it's about how we pivot the way we communicate with our clients, how we talk to, um, how we talk to them and how they talk to us and our interaction and our empathy and if we aren't, if we are only going to, they're going to see through the money. If oh, all we care about is the money, nobody's going to work with us. But like people like Heather and myself that are truly heart centered entrepreneurs and, and the people that we are connected with that they, we are the ones that are going to build the bridges for the next, the next part. Right. Uh, well, it's, it's, you know, I had a conversation. I mean, I've had a series of just phenomenal conversations over the past week, but you know, nobody y'all recognize when you're sitting in front of whether it's email or video online or TV, when you're being sold versus when you're being served. Right. And that, right. like that distinction is going to get so, I mean, it's going to get so much bigger in this phase where people don't need to be sold right now. And there's two paths, especially the earlier part of this. They don't option. want to. No. And, but there were two paths that I saw businesses going down, either ignoring that it was happening and trying the same old marketing technique, <laughs> right? Which I mean, no, no, no. to me was just so distasteful and you still see it a little bit, but people are becoming more sensitive to it or really trying to capitalize on the fear or capitalize on the messaging around coronavirus or COVID-19, right? And either of those are like not the right path. The, the, and you see, you see that as well. Like you can just go examine, I mean, pull up the past 300 emails in your email inbox. You can spot the ones that are trying to capitalize on. Oh, so much. Right. Versus people who are truly serving. And so that's where I think people have a massive opportunity to distinguish themselves of somebody who is focused on building relationships first building a business that will survive this period and beyond and really set themselves up to thrive. The and beyond is the key in there, the <laughs> and beyond, because if you're only set up to be successful now, you're not going to be able to be successful going forward. Yeah. And, yeah. and as I say, it's going to be a bandaid and that doesn't work. So no, um, doesn't. what I'm, Heather, I know you know how to reach me, but there is one specific yeah. call to action that I'm going to ask everybody to take. And that is to join my Facebook group, which I know Heather has done. It's called yep. Pivot or Perish. And Heather, it's bit, I, I, when, here, I'll type it in. Bit yeah, well, and I can type me. it on my Facebook page as well. We had a few eyeballs live there. Put it in the okay, link here. Good. Perfect. Okay, yeah. Go. And that group, there's amazing resources. As a matter of fact, last week, like a week and a half, I don't know, I lose track. I posted an article on LinkedIn about a bunch of grants. As of today, I'm going to have a comprehensive resource, uh, uh, US grant and loan resource available for a small fee with other goodies in it as well. And, um, but there was a, a post last week that I posted on LinkedIn as well. It was a free a a grant list. There's also like Microsoft Office is offering six months free, even if you already have a license. So why not take advantage of that six okay. months free for everybody? Just make a phone call or actually go online and you do the application. They give you a code, you're done. I did it this morning. Um, there's a lot of great resources in there. Heather will be posting in my group because she's a strategic partner of mine. So 
please take advantage of the opportunities in there. We just ask you a few questions and make sure you read the group rules, but that's a great way to start engaging with me. And um, there's even a webinar that's posted in there. I'm going to be taking it down by the end of the week because at the end of the day, um, you know, like there's only so much free stuff we can give away and then we at right. some point have to charge a little bit, right? right? But, but there, the, yesterday I did, I don't know if you know this, I did a trilingual webinar. English, Spanish, and Portuguese. And I don't speak Spanish or Portuguese. Well, a little oh Portuguese, but not very much. Good for you. That's amazing. Yeah. It was um, great. I love that. Well, and I love that you are showing up so consistently to help host this conversation for people. Before we wrap up, um, I want to ask you, what, what other questions should we be asking? So we talked already for people who are seeing this live. We talked a little bit about the, um, the small business loans, right? So the, the SBA loans, which the link is in, actually, let me, um, I'm going to copy this link over to the Facebook page. Lauren shared this earlier for the SBA link, go here. Um, and, and that's the economic impact disaster loan, right? Which is a grant. You have to- No, the all grant the, is part of the loan. Part of the grant loan. Grant is built, is kind of, built into the loan. Got it. It's Got in it. the loan application. Okay. Um, but you have to check it. It's called an advance, right? Correct. And tricky, the tricky. Part. There's a lot of tricks in that application. Got it. And then the other one is the Paycheck Protection Program. Paycheck Protection Program, which okay. must be through a financial institution. You cannot do it otherwise. Got it. Anything else that people should be starting to explore? Lots. There's a lot of stuff. Let's, let's just yep. say that there's a lot of money that is available. And if you don't do the right research or hire the right people, you're going to be leaving money on the table. For yeah. example, for as little as, let's say, 100 bucks, you can access the funding um, session with me. And that 100 bucks will turn into $1,000 as soon as you file this application. Well, not as soon as it takes some time because they're not exactly speedy. But you have to, you, then you also, you can look at other options that are available. So there's, you know, don't leave money on the table. There's money in each state, there's money federally, and there's money privately. Facebook, Amazon, Spanx. I mean, lots and lots of, of companies are offering resources and free tools and free tips and free this. And you got to just take advantage of it and find one or two people that you can count on and trust to guide you through it. Because otherwise you're going to get overwhelmed because everybody is spewing out a bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh. And if you're like me, uh, you have less time than ever. Like less some people time. have more time if they if they don't have children or, <laughs> but for me, you know, full-time parent trying to stay in my business and trying to hold, it's just, it's a whole new world. I mean, everybody right. is experiencing that in some way, but um, yeah. It's I a agree. whole new world, not, not all of which I love. And by the way, if there's any realtors on the call or any realtors in your group, reach out to me because there's something really special for you guys as well. So I, I I'm a realtor. That. I don't know. Do you know that I've been a realtor? For yes. No, I totally know that. I think I called you early on when you were in the middle of one of your realtor conferences, like, Oh, there you go. Okay, professional cool. Industry conference. So, okay. um, yeah. So connect with Lauren, you shared the link here, your pivoter parish. I also shared it on Facebook so people can Thank go you. join your group for more information, continuing updates. Um, I have an idea. Yes. Why don't we try once a week to hop on, do a live in your in your okay. group or my group, yeah. like a legal update, just to say, you know, what you should like, because a lot of people are probably throwing up websites right now without proper totally. terms of terms. Of, okay, and that so Heather is the legal website warrior. I know this is being streamed on my page, and she is awesome. She has helped me. And she helps so many business owners with all kinds of stuff related to um, related to protecting your website and protecting your 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 assets in in building your business. And it's really important. Like there's the GDPR. There's all kinds of like there's the ADA. I mean, there's these are more okay. more acronyms, right? I'm all about acronyms. But we that's why we work well together. So maybe next time we'll switch it around a bit about pivoting more then funding Heather and talk about how we yeah. can help these business owners, the solopreneurs and small business owners to really make an impact and move the, the yeah. needle forward. Oh, totally. And do it the right way and not be hanging themselves out to dry from a risk perspective. No, no, um, no. 
absolutely. So one last question for you. Do you know anything about the refunds or the payments that are coming related to the IRS? Oh, uh, yeah, I got mine today. So okay. yes, they're, they're, just, they're just showing up in your bank account. You'll get a, a message from your bank or something saying IRS treasury and the, the deposit came today. So you're, they're starting. I know okay. three other people that got them today. So I don't know if it's by region. I'm in South Florida. You're in Washington state. Yeah. So, but yes, the money is coming. Excellent. Okay. So people should be watching for that. Are there either limits? And I know I, I read briefly, but I honestly have been so swamped. Like I haven't even looked into, you know, all of this detail yet. Are there limits? Like some people get that. Some people won't. Does everybody I don't honestly that? know? I think okay. it depends on your gross, your gross, um, your CGI yeah, in your um, yeah. tax return. If you're over, I think a hundred and I think it's 75,000 individually or something like that. Mm -hmm. But if you have an S corp, it's different. However, yeah. for the most part, it's 1200 per adult and 500 per child. So okay. your family should get, um, 30, 3,400, right? Cause okay. you have two adults and two yep. children, so 2,400 and a thousand. So 30, so just as an example, uh, I have one adult, one child. So I got 1700. So yeah. everybody should get that money. Okay, so watch for that as well. Um, any other questions that we should be asking? Anything that you know you want to? I can't up think with? of any. Okay. And if anybody has them, they can post them in the yep. chat, and we'll answer them because I'll, uh, Heather will monitor, or I'll monitor, and we'll be we'll be happy to help you. Okay. Absolutely. And if you're on Facebook, you can post in the thread below this video, and I'll be sure to tag Lauren so that she sees them. Lauren, if you haven't already, because I couldn't, I couldn't cause the link to come up with your name make sure you like my page so that i can tag yeah. you if there are comments but otherwise people should go join lauren's group she'll be posting continuing updates continuing resources there thank you for joining in i know you have been so busy like so many of us and i just love that you took some time and jumped on this call and shared mm -hmm. these tips i know there are a lot and this i mean this gets me motivated to start thinking like oh maybe i should actually do this you are going to do it i'm not getting i'm not going to be off your back until you do and um heather it's the legal website warrior right that's right yeah i think i'm a, i think i've checked it but i'll, I'll make sure sweetheart okay. thank you no worries stay Great safe to and you, uh, as well. always yes have stay healthy we'll talk soon good one bye thanks everybody bye-bye